I'm starting a new web talk series based around content and how you can use free tools to create your content. Keep watching for this first tutorial on doing inspirational posts. Now for this post, I've decided I found a Buddha quote and I wanted it as a graphic. And this is what we're going to be creating today using some free tools which I will tell you about as we go along. And all I did was get a Buddha quote that I liked which is do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment and it's a Buddha quote and I really liked it and I wanted that in an image and this is the image I created and posted on web talk and as you can see it's not been up that long two hours and it's had nine likes one comment and one share and nine views and as we know on web talk all that is earning me ad rewards which you probably saw at the beginning of the video i'm up to 31 dollars and something so as you can see i'm doing something correct so into the video we're going to create a post like this and the first thing i want you to do go over to a website called canva.com a lot of you may be aware of canva and if you don't type into your browser i will show you in the browser canva c a n v a Com. If you've got an account, log in. If you haven't, you'll have to sign up. It's free. I'm on a trial as an upgraded member, so mine might look slightly different to yours. I've been using it for years as well. What we need to first do is decide what size image we want to use. Now, I'm not used to doing thumbnails for my YouTube videos. I'm going to stick with the YouTube thumbnail. Test out all the different designs because there's some for Facebook um what have we got instagram infographics have a look around but for today's video i'm going to stick with the youtube thumbnail also you can type in the box here like pinterest pin facebook post and it'll bring up the templates for you to use like i say i'm going to use youtube thumbnail and what it does it opens a new window are the different templates as a free member some of them are free some of them you will have to pay money i'm testing out the trial as an upgraded member and it looks like most of them are free for me so you want to scroll through and see what design you actually like you can click on it and it'll bring it up over here on the right and what we can see is the text is in one box the image is the background i'm going to use this template i've got a buddha quote i want to use so from here i'm going to first off click in this box and you see the cursor there and i'm going to highlight and i'm just going to paste in that box the quote i want to use and as you can see it's way too big so i want to reduce the size so it's 126 at the moment i'm going to try it at 104 to me that looks good i've not chosen me image yet because i didn't know what template i wanted to use and now i can go and look at a photo i want to put on there that will fit in with that template so i'm going to take you over to pixabay once again most of you'll know pixabay it's pixabay.com p-i-x-a-b-a-y dot com most things on here are in the public domain i'll show you where to look to find out for sure if they are or not and because it's a buddha quote i'm going to type buddha in the search because i want a buddha image click enter and you'll be brought to a page with all the different images just have a scroll through see what catches your attention now i kind of like this one and i think this one would work with the template as well i may have to change the text color so i'm just going to click on the image and it'll open and as you can see here to the right pixabay license free for commercial use no arbitration required 
always read that just to make sure and all you have to do then is click on free download choose what size you want to use press download click that you're not a robot and download now we go back to canva and over to the left got some buttons and you've got an uploads button i'm going to click on uploads upload an image or a video it'll bring up my downloads folder where the image is gone you click on the image open and that's going to show here in a second that it's uploading once that blue line's gone we're all set to go now all you have to do is drag that image over and position you might have to play around a little bit now as you can see here with having white text it doesn't quite work with that background so i'm going to click in the box go up to this a and bring up the color box you can add a color if you've got a hex code put the x code in there i'm not going to do that i'm just going to play around with the colors default colors that are already available black that definitely works let's just go for pink i know the pink won't work but just to show you i think i'm going to stick with the black on this one and that's our image all done and ready to download a bit further up to the top you can put a title in there i'm just going to call this buddha 2 because i've already done buddha 1 and then i'm going to just slide you over and you've got home file resize i'm going to click on file and i'm just going to press save and the reason i'm doing that is because i may want to use this template again and then from there all we do is go over to the left and you've got a download click on the download and you can save it to png you've got other options jpeg pdf video and gif I'm keeping the PNG there and I'm just going to click download and that's going to download to my downloads folder. So now we're going to post this image over onto WebTalk. So I'm on the newsfeed of WebTalk now and I'm going to create a new post. I press photos, I click on the image I've just created and open and that's going to place the photo down here i've already got the quote and i'm just going to paste in the quote at the top i've now decided i'm going to add my referral link because i want to share this post over on facebook in some groups i'm in which will bring up my profile picture i'm going to click off that and i'm also going to add my hashtags there i'm not going to use spotlight for this but what i am going to do i'm going to go on public allow comments and check that box so anyone can comment on this post i'm going to share it on twitter facebook linkedin and slack and i'm going to post the facebook brings up the windows i've shown you before i'm just going to paste my description this time at the top that i put in the original post i'm going to post this to a page i manage and then click on post to facebook and there's the post and that's all there is to it so free tools canva.com and pixabay.com you've got your templates on canva all set up for you you just got to decide which one you want and do a little bit of resizing and you can get your image from Pixabay. Now I found it easier to get the template I want to use and then go in search for the image. I just find for me personally it makes it easier when I'm creating because I can see straight away if that image I want to use is going to fit into that template and that's all there is to it. Subscribe to my channel, don't forget to click the bell icon that will notify you of any new videos. If you've got any questions leave it in the comments and I will get back to you.